What is up? It's Al. And if you clicked on this video looking for the best running app that's going to get you a training plan to get you to that 5K, that 10K, half marathon, or even a full marathon, well, that's what I was looking for. And in this video, we're going to go over just that. Mile two check. Three. And then here we got 3.10. In today's video, we're gonna go over the best four apps that offer training plans. But first, I wanna thank everyone. We started this channel at the beginning of the year and we already have surpassed 300 subscribers. So thanks to everyone who has joined the community. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you're into fitness tech from apps to wearables, because that's what we go over. This, this will be the new YouTube film studio slash gym, but let's get started with the four apps that we're gonna be going over with. We're gonna be Nike Run Club app, Map My Run by Under Armour, Garmin Connect, and Strava. We'll be measuring these four apps based on coaching, features, ecosystem, and value. Because some of these are gonna be free, some are gonna have a monthly cost, and others are gonna require a certain product. But we'll go over that in this video. I am gonna let you guys know that I did test these last two weeks other apps that didn't really make the cut, Run With Halls, uh, Adidas Running, and Run Keeper. So let's just dive straight into the video, start with the first category, coaching, for the Nike Run Club app. The Nike Run Club app offers a get started plan, a 5K training plan, and a half marathon. Map My Run, made by Under Armour. So they have an introductory running plan, which is the Learn Running Basics. They offer a 5K, they offer a 10K half marathon, and a full marathon, which Nike Run Club app doesn't offer. They also offer the ability to choose your goal. So if you have a half marathon in mind, you can choose a certain distance or a certain pace. So for example, for me, I just signed up for the July 22nd San Francisco Half Marathon. My main goal is to finish it in sub two hours. So to have that option to customize a specific goal in regards of distance or pace is very nice. And you also have the option to create your workout schedule. So on the app itself, it allows you to select the days that you want to run and then the days that maybe you're not able to run, which is a really nice feature. Now, moving on to the Garmin Connect. They offer a 5K, 10K, and half marathon training plans. So you could tell they don't have an introductory running plan and they don't offer, surprisingly, a full marathon training plan. Just like Matt My Run, though, they do offer the ability so that you can choose your goal if that's distance or pace and they allow you to create your, your own workout schedule. Strava is next. They offer 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon. Just like the Garmin Connect, they also allow you to build your goal on pace or distance, and they allow you to build your workout schedule if you wanna work out specific days and what days you wanna rest. Next to features. We're not gonna discuss the activity tracking because all of these four apps plus all the other ones do what you would expect from a running app, which is heart rate, calories, distance, being able to GPS route your run. Nike Run Club app offers guided runs. These are done really well, which on a side note, Apple Fitness has just stepped into this realm of guided runs. I made a video which I'll put it right over here or you could watch it later, but Apple Fitness does not offer training plans, which is why they're not in this video. The Nike Run Club app offers the guided runs. It's also compatible with your iPhone or Android, and it has an app specifically for the Apple Watch. Also offers music controls, and what this is, is if you haven't used it, your Spotify or Apple Music is integrated into the app. And it's actually the only one out of these four apps that has this feature. Map My Run by Under Armour. Same thing, they offer guided runs, not as exciting as the Nike Run Club app, I'll just let you know. It's compatible with iPhone, Android, also the Apple Watch. 
but then it also comes with gear tracking. You can input the shoes that you have and it'll track how many miles you've ran with them. Also give you recommendations on when you should switch them out. Live tracking, which is really similar to Find My Friends, but it works with iPhone or Android. When you start your run, it notifies your friends and family that you started running and they can see exactly where you are and it automatically turns off as soon as you stop your run. So with Garmin Connect, to get the most out of the app, it's best that you have a Garmin device. And if you have one, I'll actually show you what it looks like. You have all the data and analytics that you would expect from a fitness tracker. It doesn't come with any guided runs. Now it does offer gear tracking, very similar to Map My Run. Of course, if you're into cycling, the nice thing is that you could input more info. So it's not just shoes, you could input also your bike. And you also have this live tracking which is exactly just like Map My Run, and you also have live event sharing, which is nice. The family can get notified of your splits and what time you're projected to finish. So if any friends or family are at that event, they could know maybe to wait for you on mile 15, maybe on mile 21, or for anybody that didn't go to the event, they can kind of get notified from home and be able to cheer you on that way. Moving on to Strava. They offer gear tracking very similar to Garmin Connect for your cycling and your running equipment. It also comes with Beacon, which is their version of live tracking so your friends and family can know where you're at. And it's compatible with iPhone, Android, and multiple smartwatches. So not just the Apple Watch, but it's also compatible with Garmin, Polar devices. It's a long list, but it's definitely nice that it's compatible with more devices. But now let's move on to the next category, which is gonna be ecosystem. Nike Run Club app is the only app out of these that offer the embedded music controls of Spotify and Apple Music. Nike does offer a different app called the Nike Training Club app, which I made a video on this as well. You could watch it here, or the video will be down in the description. So the two go really well together. It's definitely something to check out. Map My Run, Map My Run, Map My Run. So Map My Run is by Under Armour. It would only make sense that it syncs with their other app, My Fitness Pal. Their Under Armour has a selection of shoes. And with the selection of shoes, you can actually sync the shoes to the app and it gives you an accurate, or at least what they claim, I haven't tried it, but it's supposed to be more accurate of the steps that you take and also the cadence during your runs and it also unlocks a feature called form uh, form coaching i haven't used it let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in garmin connect also offers the ability to sync with my fitness pal also syncs with strava very nicely i should add and it also has the compatibility of syncing with microsoft office 365. now strava a really a community app. Again, if you're not really too sure what the Strava app is, then I recommend that you watch that video that I posted earlier. I'll tag it one more time. Let's start with the Nike Run Club app. It's a free app. There is no premium version, so they're not asking any money from you. And also it's other app, Nike Training Club app, the strength training yoga mobility app. That one's free as well. Now, Map My Run. Map My Run offers a two week free trial that you could use with iPhone or Android. Otherwise, afterwards, it's $5.99 a month or $29.99 a year. Garmin Connect has no membership price, but you do require a Garmin device. So it's something to look into. I could just let you know that I believe they start at $79.99 a month. So if you don't have an Apple Watch or a smartwatch or any type of fitness tractor, that's the reason why I wanted to input this, because if you don't have one and you might be in the market for one, then this might be the best route for you. Strava, Strava has a bunch of free features. It's a community-based app. So mostly all the features that we mentioned besides the training plans are free. Now, the premium version is what you need if you're looking for the training plans. The pricing for that $7.99 a month 59.99 a year. Now let me share which app I'm going with and let me give you my thoughts to hopefully point you in the right direction. I was in the market for a wearable. I recently just got the Garmin FX2. I made a video on that a few weeks ago. So for that reason, I'm going with the Garmin Connect app to get me ready for the half marathon San Francisco 
in July. But if you only have right now a Apple Watch and are completely happy with it, not in the market for anything else, or if you don't have an Apple Watch, my two cents would be to try the Nike Run Club app or Strava. And if you want more information on those two apps, then I recommend you click right here on this video. This is where I compare the two apps and I go in a more detailed analysis on them. But that has been a Fitness Tech Friday video. Hope you guys learned something new and I'll catch you on next week's video on Fitness Tech Friday. Later.